Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing off my record collection, so we're going to be going through it, and I'll show you guys what I got so far, definitely going to be getting a lot more, so stay tuned for those unboxing videos, but yeah, a lot of these have stories to go with them, so I'll just be talking about them as I show it all off, let's jump right into it. All right, so I got most of them here set up, as you can see, ready to go through. I got my other sealed one up there. Then we got a signed future one right there and a sealed little peep one there. There's one more sealed one in my room and then I got some like old vinyls. But yeah, so this is pretty much my whole collection. Let's, uh jump right into it. <clears throat> so yeah, most of these are hip hop because that's what I'm most into, you know? So yeah, first album here, XXX Tentacion 17 LP. Very nice, very fire. I just put out a unboxing video for this, so you can go check that out. It'll be in the description. Very, very fire album. One of my favorites from my teenage years. One of my favorites from X. Um, I talk more about it in the unboxing video and how it's like has a lot to do with just like high school, my ex, like going through depression. Um, yeah, just going through life. I'd literally just like lay in bed and put this on repeat for like hours. I had like 300 hours for this album or something on like the year end. Apple review. Yeah, I would just lay in bed and put it on. That's when I like started listening to music to sleep and stuff or just to like relax, nap, I guess. I don't know. Very cool indeed, very nice. And now, next. I also put a new video out for this record as well. I'll show some of them all. Uh, the ones I don't have videos on, I'll take them out. So yeah, this one's very fire because it's that translucent red vinyl. And I love the artwork inside this one. That always is a really nice touch for albums. Post humorous or however you say it. Album, Fighting Demons by Juice World. I really like this one. They put a lot of like just speaking interludes in it. That's why I like the deluxe better. It has a couple extra tracks, but I think like the tracks on this really hit. They're really fire. Like some like backstory to it would be like some of these tracks what because i listen to the unreleased juice tr tracks all the time there's so many of them on youtube and um a lot of these tracks were like my favorite unreleased ones that i like never thought would get released and i like listen to them so much and then they finally got released on the album so that's pretty pretty cool and i was pretty happy about that you know what i mean like from my window, that was a favorite until Paul comes back around. Pretty much all of them were like just tracks that were leaked or like unreleased, you know? And the cover art's fire too. And it's just like a good like mess good story and message all around about dealing with drug addiction, mental health issues. Next album, this is called Family by DJ Scheme. A producer. I don't think he does much vocals. I don't think he does any, like, he might do vocals, but I don't think he does any, like, rap or anything. But this album, I got it the finished edition. I don't, this isn't the deluxe. But this album I got because it's just such a fire album. Like, so many features, like, so many people on this album, like, all the people on this cover art, sick cover art. First song, Buck 50 by Juice Rolled. One of my favorite tracks. I love that track. DJ Scheme produced a lot for Juice World, and just like all these like fire artists, all the tracks slap on this album. Like it's such, it's just a banger album. Like 
they're all hits. So far, like this shit, like last year, when my parents were selling their house, this shit got me through like some hard times, just fucking jamming out to myself, you know? Just like, you know, got like, sometimes you just gotta toughen up, you know? This shit made me tough. Cause it's a tough fucking album. Like it's so hard, so many fire artists, the tracks on it all slap. They're all so hard. Love the artwork. Um, the Juice track, that was like the main one that put me on this album. Definitely. And I'll show you guys what the vinyl looks like. Also the vinyl for this, like I saw this online. I, th I think that's what I saw. I saw the vinyl and I was like, damn, I need it just cause of the vinyl too. Like blue is my favorite color. And this is just like beautiful white and blue. Like literally so beautiful. I love this vinyl. This is one of my favorite colors. Like such a nice pour too. Like the streaks in it and stuff are so beautiful compared to the fucking trash Urban Outfitter ones. They're sending me a new copy because I complained about the print. I was like, it doesn't look like it all. But yeah, the Urban Outfitter prints are so bad. Next album, Mac Miller, best day ever. The song best day ever like slaps. Like this is a classic. I really had to get it. Um, it's just a really good album all around. Really good energy. If you want to get uplifted, happy, that's pretty much it. Like Mac Miller is one of my, also like one of my childhood favorites. Listen to him since the beginning. That's why it also slaps like best ever is literally like, that made me just feel the best when I was a kid. Like the BDE bonus track. Listen to that literally was like my favorite Mac Miller track growing up in like high school and shit. Like early on in high school, even like, like grade seven or eight type thing, I think maybe when it came out and that shit just like made me feel like good, you know, it made me like, just, you know, feel like any day is going to be the best day ever. You know what I mean? And just one of those feel good tracks really like sound good too. Like I just vibe to it endlessly. Donald Trump too. That I think that was like one of the first tracks I heard from Mac Miller. Okay. Yeah some story time so like i used to edit like want to like edit and stuff on youtube was into like call of duty the montages and stuff and like mac miller was a big one when he was underrated people used his tracks all the time and like on like those promoting sounds channels and whatnot so like people used his uh song since it was like royalty free and stuff no copyright since it was like before he was even like blown before anyone knew about him he, only a couple of his tracks blew up on like those promoting websites type thing, like the promoting sounds or whatever, but like an old version of it type thing blew up. Like Donald Trump blew the fuck up. Like I remember listening to that shit when I only had a couple thousand views because I found it in some phase montage. Like it was, I think it was like phase that helped like literally help Mac Miller blow up like YouTube and shit. Like had such an influence. Next Mac Miller, good AM, my favorite album by Mac Miller has some of my favorite tracks like Weekend. Where's the track list? The track list is on the poster. Oops, that sucks. Um, like Weekend. There's just such good tracks on this thing. Really like the cover, like the artwork for the album too. It's a very different style album. That's why I like it. It's all different and it really hits on like that life point like if all of them like really like connect to life that beautiful silver vinyl i barely even listened to this vinyl i forgot that it was silver we got like rush hour just like there's this whole like all, every track on this album is amazing i could listen to it front to the back so many times um some of them are like bangers too like such bangers or they're just like chill tracks some of them talk about like his life and like what's gonna happen in life. He literally predicted it. like Perfect Circle is an insane song. If you haven't heard that song, Perfect Circle slash Godspeed, listen to that and just listen to the lyrics. It literally is insane. And then another one would be Cut the Cut the Check. Chief Keef's verse in that is literally my favorite Chief Keef verse of all time. It literally made me have all the respect for Chief Keef because I was like, whoa, this guy actually has the sickest rap flow of all time. Like he actually sounds so good. I wish he rapped without that auto tune and stuff all the time. Like it, I wish he rapped like that in that song all the time. It was literally so fire the way he spit so perfect. Like it was the most perfect flow.
perfect everything like i wish it was like that all the time it's so fire cut the check literally amazing track like him and fucking chief keep flow together so well i bet he like literally told chief keep i remember telling someone this one time i bet he literally like told chief keep like bro like no autotune just spit like i want to just hear your bars please just let me hear you flow just let me hear your bars for one song ever like the only song ever that he actually fucking did that and then the festival that one i like kind of slept on but then like it kind of when i actually like uh started listening to it i kind of like fell in love with it because it was such a sick track and like i had it on repeat for so long the festival feet little dragon like the production in that and just like the flow of that song and the sound of it is just so amazing it's really 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 such a good song i really recommend checking out this entire album listen to it front to back it all flows so well it's one of his like earlier on work to like kind of like as he was coming up like when he was blowing up he made this shit so it's like really that like good like um as he was blowing up when he made this shit so it's really like that good like genuine like down to earth quality like that real real like genuine quality next album i saw this album live like i saw her perform this live in toronto one of the best performances i've ever seen ever Really good album too, really cool cover art. I needed to get the vinyl of this because of it. Really good album, a lot to do with this. Like, a lot. Well, I dated this girl for a year. When this came out, we went to the concert together and shit. She ended up breaking up with me, blocking me, and yeah, haven't spoke to her since. But this album, you know, Billy made it worth it. I remember fucking working in some shit warehouse listening to this album like when the songs would come on the radio that would be like the only thing that makes my day because they're like bad guy like so many of these tracks were just like radio tracks but at the same time it was really deep like side b like these last three tracks are so goddamn deep they're just like it's just it's kind of like her in-between stage like as she stays like more down to earth like herself like her first album was like all genuine like real just like creative like diff like new like something never been done and then it's that's like this mixed with like her new album how it's like all just kind of like polished like formulas to create what you want you know what i mean whereas like something where she did in the first place it's not really probably what she wanted but it turned out to be something better because that's like what happens when you experiment it's more experimental that's what i mean so this is kind of that in between a little bit of experimental a little bit of like formula that's why the radio hits on it you know she's like i need to get known i need to get blown the fuck up so the first fucking half of this is like literally just radio bangers and okay so the, uh, let me tell you why i got this actually so this vinyl it was super expensive it was like fucking almost 200 bucks or something and then there's a price drop i think i got it for like around 80 it's the glow in the dark edition so we got a nice black sleeve just a plain black sleeve and as you can see it's a nice a, a nice translucent color and it glows in the dark i haven't really tested it out yet i don't even think i've listened to this album maybe once i listen to it every time i buy a record i at least listen to it once and then yeah i just haven't really been using my record player that much because i need a better speaker once i get like a sound system then i can blast the fuck out of these vinyls and it'll be sick but for now or i'll try plug like maybe plugging in with a cord i don't even have a cord plug speaker so like i only have bluetooth ones and it's just so quiet next beast coast this album is so fire so good so good such good construction such good artwork by flatbush zombies pro era and the underachievers they form beast coast uh escape from new york that's what this album's called beast coast by beast coast oh it's all their names at the bottom um nick caution power pleasant cj fly so and then we got this beautiful artwork here where it's like this acid tab design uh like an acid tab print each of them put kind of like they're one of their like prized possessions. Kind of like, you know, like Pirates of the Caribbean. Now, like, to summon what's her name? 
uh, they all all the pirate captains had to put in like one of their like medallions. It's kind of like they're like one each of their one thing. Like, pretty sure that's Meech's ring. That's actually a sick ring. Like the print on that is so far. Someone put a Game Boy. Someone put a Nintendo game ring. Lots of chains. Meech probably put the Chucky doll there. All like all their chains and shit are obviously important to them. R.I.P. Steez. He was in uh, Pro Era. In OG. Super Fire album. It's a nice color print too. And it came with a black light poster. My posters I hang all in my room actually. And yeah, just like blue's my favorite color. Just a nice blue print. I think I just got this off Amazon. I just like randomly saw it and I was like, oh, I should buy that. Uh, the track slap on this. You guys should listen to this whole album. It's super fire, super fire album. My favorite artists definitely in the rap game. Yeah, yeah, super fire. Like, what are my favorite tracks? One More Round is my favorite track on this album. That's like why I got this album because I was like listening to that song on repeat and then I was like Googling around for vinyls and found it and I was like, it's a must. Next, Brent Fayez. He's all, my favorite in the R&B game for like my favorite male in the R&B game. Got a nice picture of him sitting. Looks like he's just floating, smoking a joint, you know, chilling. Brent Fayez type vibe, fuck the world. Love the name of the album. I'm on that vibe. Love the back, the design, like the artwork on this album. It's so fucking fire. And what's crazy is I'm pretty sure, I don't have TikTok or anything, but I'm pretty sure that he blew up, blew the fuck up on TikTok. Cause I was looking on StockX and this vinyl resell re was reselling before the restock was reselling for like up to 500 bucks. So I told my mom to pick up one so she can resell it and make money if it blows the fuck up again. Hopefully it does. Hopefully that TikTok vibe keeps going. Um, I don't really know how the TikTok trends go, if those like are lasting or what. But yeah, I hope people keep fucking with this heavy because make some money off that, you know? And then we pull it out and also it is a beautiful print with some nice, like beautiful artwork. I love this file. I forgot how nice this print actually is. Like it's such a nice print. Lost Kids. Brent Fires, super fire. This album, I didn't even like care about as much in particular. Like it's not even that crazy of an album. It's really short too. Um, but it was just, it came out and I was like, damn, I missed the other one. So I picked it up. Uh, next, my favorite woman in the R&B game. Literally my only celebrity, like my main celebrity crush. I don't even like crush on celebrities, but literally she is perfect in every single way. Georgia Smith, she is so talented. I love this like uh, wax figure design too. She even like, like there's a whole like, it's kind of like how the, for the weekend's new album, there's like a whole like aesthetic, a whole like, like uh, character that you create for the album, for the story, for the vibe, for the aesthetic. So she create she dyed her hair red. She like created this whole new like red, like different kind of aesthetic for herself. Like she became like, I feel like she became like a new woman. Like she's strong now. That's why it's red. She's being like dominant, like assertive. She's like, I am a strong woman. I came in the game, R and B game, and she became famous. She's like, she's basically like the goat of the R and B game, I guess. And she knows it herself. It's like red. It's like, look at me. I own this shit. Like. And then we just got this beautiful, then classic Georgia Smith, just chill clouds, some like cursive, be right back. I also got the so uh, a signed postcard with this album, which is super cool. I have her signature now too. And I also picked up the CD with it just for some collectibles. It's also my like favorite R&B album ever. This shit got me through like the saddest time of my life. Like last year was the hardest time of my life, craziest time of my life. Had this shit on repeat for so long, especially when I had to move out of my house. That was probably one of the most saddest moments of my life. And the song Home on this, like really, Home and Burn got me through like that move and that like shift in my life and all the changes in my life, like more than anything, especially Home, like realizing that it's okay. Like I'm gonna, like even if that, like that place was mo the most uh, a home of anything to me, but it still wasn't the home type of home that I wanted. I still want to have my own. I want. I still don't know what a home is, so kind of taught me what how I should expect for what to have for a home. Burn kind of taught me how to deal with emotions and stuff a lot. Taught me how to become a per better person. Even like digging kind of ties into that. Dig into your emotions. 
the whole album like it's so good and then like in my relationship stuff that kind of like was talking to me and my relationship was like addicted and gone kind of like telling me like i think it's perfect but like it's not perfect i guess it was showing me that even at the beginning stages even before i even realized it was like addicted it was like i just like i need someone who's addicted to me that's literally like what i need in a relationship she's so beautiful it's such a beautiful voice i really recommend listening to this it's so fire very fire translucent print way better than the juice world translucent i don't know what the fuck is up with some of the vinyl prints but this one's really nice be right back by georgia smith amazing she's literally one of my favorite artists of all time and she's so beautiful like i think i just watched one of her live like performances randomly at some concert on youtube one time and i was like whoa she's amazing like i think i was just watching her like coachella performance a couple of years ago and that's when i like fell in love with her oh she even produced it kind of more flatbush zombies the most fire of them all they really like they have the best merch ever like even this this app this vinyl like just look at the sparkles on this they went on some like bougie photo shoot because they're like you know it's our second album we gotta go bougie get some naked girls go out on a far away photo shoot place spend thousands of dollars on clothes just fucking go all out love their outfit like juices glasses are amazing tie-dye bantan eh. oh oh no they have matching like rings i Meech's like grill is insane it's literally like fucking diamonds yeah these naked girls with the sparkles this photo shoot was so crazy then we got sparkles vacation in hell their second debut album flopper zombies are a favorite so amazing love this album so much this album is just a fun one i've i got to see this one on tour yeah in montreal this was a fire one love this picture so you get to see his grills more there, Eric there. And the glasses are so fire. And then it even has like a textured grill, uh, Juice's grills are even textured here. That's super cool. Then you got the track list and they each wrote a little uh, segment in their handwriting, kind of like a little letter kind of thing for each of them, Vacation in Hell. Their logo is 2018, super fire album. And Super nice translucent smoke print. Really love this one. This whole album is very good. The first song is a banger, hello. And then the rest is just like, really good like, it's just like good quality, good production. It's just like higher, higher production. Vacation, Juice shows off his skills there. Really love that. The whole thing slops like, even like I've seen so many like chicks like being sharing like, shit on like instagram like stories and stuff back when it came out like they really popped off like big shrimp i think it was even number one for a little bit the shit was fire though love the smoky vinyl another one by brent this is a uh, so we actually did it like a re-release a restock so i got to actually get these ones that i slept on the first time lost kids probably my favorite album by him had this one on repeat for a while back when I was with my ex that I, that I was dating for a year that I had a lot of bad shit with, bad vibes with this shit, got me, gave me some good vibes back then. Love the art on the back, chocolates on the back. No uh, producers outside this camp were involved in the creation of this project, so it's like purely Brent and his crew. Pretty sick, Lost Kids, you know? Cool cover art, kind of like a multi portrait picture i've done a project like that in high school it's very cool i like the way they did that um i think it's just a black final nothing fancy it's hair all over it though just a black final nothing crazy about that yeah very good album this is a listen to front to back on repeat type album pretty really short too um yeah this is g shit trust around me like only g's know this shit um 
I've been seeing like somebody on my snap and posting this like crazy lately. Like people slap on this shit. It's so fire. And then I think this is Brent's first album. This shit's amazing, lovely. Probably my favorite track ever by Brent or like an R and R and B game. That was like really one of the first songs from him. I think besides like Crew Love, I think with him and like Gold Link that like really put me on him. Really like showed me who he is, what he's all about. So this album is very like slow, but it's like very, very shows off his skills a lot. Like I really, really love this thing. I think this is his first album. He's got the kids, Saunder. Saunders like his music group. They release a lot of music too. Like not a lot, but they have some music together, like released too. I think there uh there's some other like slightly different versions on their Saunder album of these songs. Very fire. This is what put me on Brent. This is the OG shit for Brent. Like, really, really good. I don't even think people, like, know much about this album. Like, I remember, like, when I felt, when thought I fell in love with my ex. I was, like, lovely. I was, like, it, it kind of just showed me, not even that. It kind of just showed me, like, the beauty of women. Like, lovely. Kind of just, like, helped me realize, like, to appreciate beauty, you know? I appreciate just how, like, lovely life is and people are. And fashion and like everything you know and then we got another red vinyl this one's more like the juice one what the fuck happened in the middle this one's more like the juice one how it's i think it's supposed to be translucent but it's just like solid red it's nice though got a lot of red vinyls actually now that i'm looking through them all um we're making our way there this smells new. Yeah, I think I've barely listened to this one either. Maybe once. Here we go. See this one, I have another one up there that's sealed. I bought two of these because they're limited to 50,000 or 13,500 copies. This is 12,463. I have a video of this one, so I'm not gonna really go through it. You can go check that out. This That'll also be in the description. My favorite album of all time though. That's all I really gotta say of this. And you should watch it. At the same time of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Apparently that's really cool. And they like made it to go with the movie. Yeah. It's my favorite album of all time. Favorite artwork. I like everything. Everything to do with this album. They put two bonus tracks on the vinyl. It's pretty dope. You gotta love when they do that. And the cup and the, the case for it makes it is like so fire. It suits it so well. Um last for this pile here. I got another one with a nice case on it. Daniel Caesar, sir. Case study 01. I have become dead. Destroyer of worlds. So he's like the spaceman, kind of like, you know, like he knows that how, the power he has, I guess. He's like, I'm an alien. So we got this nice projector, pic uh, projector picture, blurred with the blue. Then we got this nice spaceman kind of translucent design on the cover. I think that's super sick. Um, a big nice parental advisory. I don't know, sure. That's cool. That's cool. And then we got that nice him walking on the moon with the shadow and the track list on the back. I like that like space vibe for this album. It's pretty funky, pretty cool. And then we got a dope, super dope. This album it keeps ripping on the top. It makes me sad. In the inside, we got a nice, like, thank you letter that he wrote. Blum, blah blah With the producers and a nice, like, planet, spaceman type vibe. Um, Golden Child Recordings, that's his record. And we got Canada. I really love that, like... I, I don't know if he's, like, funded by the government of Canada and shit, or, like, what this means. Like, what creators in... Um, what creators for Canada get? Like, what does this mean? But yeah, very cool. Case Study 01, Daniel Caesar. And I was trying to show how... Oh, it is just the one vinyl. Yeah, and it has like a very a weird like translucent sleeve. Of, like, I didn't even try to ever look what the text says. Oh, just more of track list. Very cool, nice pictures on it. And then you got this beautiful 
Like, look at the grooves on this. That is amazing. We got this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful see-through crystal, crystal looking vinyl. So nice. The only thing I, yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about the see-through sleeve is it doesn't pr protect it from breaking through the sides. It just like the vinyl's free to move around. It's kind of dangerous. That's the only downside. See the top is breaking, but oh well, it looks cool. Super fire. This is also a limited one. There's only a limited amount of copies for this one. I don't know how many, but it was limited. So cop that. Yeah, now for the next pile.